There is just way too much confusion nowadays about the different stages and levels of dating whenever you're talking to someone. Stop complicating things. Stop allowing people to complicate things. There's a very simple transition from meeting someone to forming a mutually exclusive relationship. And that process is broken down into three levels. That's it. Stage one, the talking phase, which is what everyone calls it nowadays. I personally like to call it the courting phase, and I'm going to tell you why in a second. This phase is just merely getting to know someone. You're getting to know them, they're getting to know you, and the goal is to find out if you're compatible or not. In this phase, there is not enough skin in the game for you to really be able to decide if this is someone that you want anything mutually exclusive with. So they shouldn't be talking about it and you shouldn't be talking about it. You should just be trying to get to know each other and just find out what your commonalities are. Now, the reason why I like calling this a courting phase is because when you call this stage the talking phase, it doesn't set the proper tone. When you call it the courting phase, that communicates a very clear message that the man is supposed to be leading. He is supposed to be courting you. So yes, he is supposed to be courting you, but I want to be clear. Ladies, that does not mean you get to just kick your feet up and you don't have any work to do as well. Remember, his job is to chase you, but your job is to let him know that you are welcoming that chase. Because he's courting you, that means that he would be taking you out on dates. So that's how you move into stage number two, which is the casually dating phase. In this stage, you are casually dating. Yes, you are dating, but it is casual, meaning he has not asked you to be his girlfriend. He has not asked you to be in a relationship, so you are still single. You need to be keeping your options open and still playing the field, but this is where women get it wrong. This stage is where we introduce the most toxic trend that's happening in modern dating right now, the situationship. Why are you giving relationship benefits to someone who does not want a relationship with you? Why are you sitting here in this awkward stage of limbo, waiting and crossing your fingers and hoping that that day may come? Relationships are supposed to be a steady, organic transition from one stage to the other. So if you find yourself in a situation where everything has just kind of paused and you don't even really know what you are, that's an indication that that person is not serious about you. And if you're in a situation, you have one of two options. Option one, speak up because this is your life and this is your time that you're wasting. So speak up, hey, what are, what are we doing? Or two, just cut your losses and move the hell on, but do something. The last stage and the most simple stage of all is the mutually exclusive dating phase or the relationship where you have talked to this person, you've gotten to know them, you guys were casually dating and he has asked you to be his girlfriend. That's it, three steps. We're talking, we're casually dating, we're no longer casually dating, we're mutually exclusively dating. That's it. Stop letting people complicate things because they are not sure about you. You deserve someone who is sure about you.